Hello, in this video I'll be talking about the effects of cholinergic and anticholinergic drugs on the bladder. So let's start with cholinergic drugs. And obviously I'll be sharing a mnemonic on it so that you remember how to remember what I said. Um, that is my specialty I suppose. So C for cholinergics and C for contraction of the bladder. So, um, cholinergic drugs cause contraction of the bladder musculature and in which conditions would you use cholinergic drugs? Well, if there is like the bladder which isn't contracting like it's supposed to, you're going to give a cholinergic to augment the contraction of the bladder. So, um, in which condition would you actually use a cholinergic drug? Well, um, in diabetes mellitus, there is denervation of the bladder. So, um, the bladder isn't um, going to contract like it should and that's why you should you can give cholinergic drugs. Um, also, in the um, diabetes, there is an absence of the sensation of bladder fullness so the bladder keeps contract um, keeps filling 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 with urine and then when it gets over distended it just contracts and there is um, incontinence this is known as overflow incontinence and it is seen in diabetes mellitus um, so the drug you would use for this is bethane call. So C H O L for bethane call, cholinergics contraction. Um, now let's come to the anticholinergic part. So um, anticholinergics. would obviously anti smooth muscle contraction so they would inhibit the contraction of the smooth muscle of the bladder wall so um, in which conditions would you use an anticholinergic well if the bladder is it just keeps contracting on its own because it's so overactive you would use an anticholinergic to inhibit these contractions and cause um, filling, uh, fill, filling of the bladder. So, um, in which condition would you use an anticholinergic? Well, um, an overactive bladder. Um, bladder can be overactive due to a lot of reasons maybe there is cystitis maybe there's something in irritating the bladder like a neoplasm or something that is causing the bladder to contract even when it's not supposed to so the drug you will use for an overactive bladder is oxybutyn so um, this is known as urge incontinence where the bladder just keeps contracting and when the bladder wasn't contracting and then it would overflow that was overflow incontinence um a thing that you should remember about um anticholinergics is that a lot of you know drugs have anticholinergic properties like um antihistaminics drugs you use for cold etc so they can cause um, retention of urine especially in elderly patients which is why we avoid anticholinergics in elderly patients so that is all i hope that was helpful and um, i actually have a mnemonic on the overflow incontinence on the blog um, i'll just put a link in the description so that you can go refer to it. Stay awesome guys.